like hey welcome to my channel you don't know who i am but watch my video So if you want to get like um, a Q&A or get to know me tag, just let me know in the comments below and I'll do like a video telling more about myself. But I feel like I just jump on here like, hey, welcome to my channel. You don't know who I am, but watch my video. But like, I don't know. I don't want to bore you with a life story. But if you want to know, just ask. But if you also want to know how I got this gorgeous look here, just keep on watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing Beauty Bakery and this is a black owned brand. I'm so excited and so hyped. I don't have anything else from them. So this is my first time ordering. I know I'm a little late to the game, but I ended up getting the brownie bar palette as well as the flower setting powder. And this is in color plantain. So I'm super excited to use these goodies. Like, ugh, this is so cool. Like it looks like food, like food packaging. Like this came in like a flower kind of bag. You know, like you just get the flower out the bag. Like this was really, really cute. And then this kind of has like nutrition facts on the back. Like that is so creative. And I'm so excited to try these products today. So, without further ado, I've already come on here with foundation and brows. So, I'm going to be testing out the powder and I'm going to just put on concealer and see how I like the powder. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the entire brownie bar palette. If I'm looking down, I'm looking at the products and the mirror. But I'm going to be reviewing the entire brownie bar palette, the bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with concealer. And this is the Hyaluronic Acid Concealer from ColourPop. Super creamy. I just did a review on this concealer as well as the Tinted Moisturizer. If you haven't seen that, make sure you go and watch. I will have it in the description. No, not the description. I will have it up top, somewhere on this side or this side, one of those. concealer and now I'm going to go in with the powder I really want to mix this with the Laurel Mercier powder but for the sake of this video since it's a review I will just use this powder and this is in plantain it's like a yellowy kind of caramel color so I'm going to put some of it in the cap and it doesn't come out like the Laurel Mercier I kind of have to like force it to come out, which is good. It's not like an explosion of flour everywhere. <laughs> I said flour because that's what they call this powdered flour. So I'm trying to get some in the cap. Okay, it's coming out. It's coming out. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. So I'm going to make sure there are no creases. And then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and get some on there. Okay. Mm. But I'm not going to bake with it. I'm just going to um, mattify under my eyes. So I'm not going to leave it on there for a long time. Oh my God. This is a perfect, perfect color for me. If you are my complexion, or maybe like a little bit darker, 
Mm -hmm. This is really nice. And it's a really thin. It's finely milled. And it doesn't look too cakey. Wow. I'm impressed. Wow. Hmm. It looks really, really nice. So I'm going to put it everywhere where I put concealer. is really 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 nice wow uh, the only thing I would have to see is if it has like a flashback or anything in pictures but this right here might replace Laura Mercier it just might like this is really nice okay so I went in with the powder this is a keeper this flower better not bitter <laughs> that's what it says <laughs> i like that and, and this is in color plantain so this right here so far i'm impressed this this is the keeper so i'm going to go ahead and go in with this cutie this brownie palette so i'm going to take a fluffy brush and kind of i already play like with it in my finger with my finger and it was really pigmented so i'm not going to go crazy with the brush I'm just gonna like tap it in and then I'll go in the hollows of my cheeks Ooh. Hmm. this is a pretty color as well it's not as warm as I normally go for but it's not bad though And what I like about this palette is it's really, not really small, but it's kind of tiny. It's not as big as like a bronzer would be. So you can definitely travel with this or like throw it in your purse and take it with you to go. Really cute. I'm also not mad at this bronzer either. Okay, beauty bakery. You might have did something. it looks really pretty and I, I lied it's it's warm when I first put it on it looked a little cool toned but no this is warm and this is nice so I'm going to take a little bit more of that plantain powder and kind of carve under the bronzer or just a little bit like not nothing crazy just to kind of clean it up just a little bit. This is really nice so far, my goodness. So I'm um, now I'm going to go in with some Fix Plus spray. Just because I like doing this to refresh my face before I put on any highlighter. Grab a blush brush. Let my face dry down a little bit more. Wow, Beauty Bakery did their thing. I'm really loving this powder because I was on the hunt for a yellow powder, and I know a lot of people were using like Sasha Buttercup, if you remember that. Like they were using that, and then there was the banana powder, the original banana powder. And then I know some brands had came out with some setting powders, but I was just so stuck on Laura Mercier because it just never stared me wrong. And I know they came out with a few colors too, but I don't believe they came out with a yellow. I know they came out with like a darker brown kind of color, but I don't recall a yellow. So now that the Fix Plus has kind of dried down a little bit, 
I'm going to go in with the highlighter first and this is like a gold gold like baby it's gold so I'm going to just tap my highlighter brush in it a little bit and it's kind of glittery it's not really the type of highlighter I prefer but we'll see yeah she is glittery it's almost like a bronze type of color this would be really pretty on like deeper deeper skin tones so i'm going to kind of blend it in with the bottom of my blender that i use to blend my foundation it is really cute like i said it's not the type of highlighter i go for i go for kind of more creamier this is more kind of powdery but it is definitely highlighted so now I'm going to go in with this blush. And the blush is like a pretty orange color. And I love orange blushes. Orange blushes on brown girls is like, I don't know, the best thing. <laughs> it just complements our skin tone so good. So I'm going to go in with the blush under my highlighter and above my bronzer. is very pigmented as well so I'll go in with the end of my beauty sponge just to marry everything together and grab some lip gloss And I'm not doing lashes today. I just have on some mascara and my little Sade braid that I did a tutorial on. So if you want to see how I got this slick back, long, extended braid, I will have that um, somewhere around here, maybe, possibly. But just go back and watch it. But this is pretty. Beauty Bakery, you did your thing. It's really, really, really nice. I would definitely suggest trying at least, if you don't get this cute little palette, at least, at least get this here. Cause this probably going to replace my Laura Mercier for a while. And I'm even gonna to try to mix them together to see if that is nice too. I got that tip from Harouche. If you don't know Harouche, she is the one of the Kardashians makeup artists. She has a YouTube as well, but she's like a pro in UA and she gave this great idea of mixing your powders. I'm gonna try that. So I might mix this with the Laura Mercier too, but this is beautiful. I really, really love it. So Beauty Bakery, 10 out of 10. I wanna try everything. I know they have like lip whips, like liquid lipsticks and foundation and everything. So I'm into it. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got something from it. I hope that you do support this brand. Like I said, it is black woman owned. I'm a black woman. Okay. I'm a support. And I suggest that you do the same. So thank you for watching this review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on a 1,000 subscriber journey. So help me get there if you like, please. But thank you so much for watching. Bye.